This is a seared and roasted cabbage wedge recipe. The oven's preheated to 350. I've got a small to medium sized cabbage. I'm taking off the outer leaves. I'm cutting off any brown bits, um, anything that looks uh, ugly. It's got a really small level stem, so I don't want to take any more of the stem off. Um, if it had a bigger stem, you could take a little bit more off, but the stem is going to keep it intact. So I'm going to only get four uh, wedges out of this. Normally I would get six if the cabbage was a little bit bigger. Uh, anyway, so I've got a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I'm heating up to medium high heat, adding a high heat oil like vegetable oil and I'm adding in the cabbage. Um, if, if the cabbage doesn't, if you have more cabbage than this six pieces, it might not fit. You might have to do it in batches. Um, so don't get it too big of a cabbage, I'm saying, uh, unless you want to do the batches. So I'm going to sear this for four to six minutes on each side. And everybody's stove top is different. The BTUs, the pan, this is cast iron. It holds heat really well and evenly, and it's oven safe. Um, just the handle is going to get really hot, so i got a pot holder over it just to remind myself. And I haven't salted this because it's really hard to penetrate a, a wedge, a dense wedge of cabbage. So you can um, salt a little bit later. It's a simple recipe. You can build on it with different herbs and spices later as well. But this is just delicious as as it is. It doesn't it doesn't need more. Um, going to add in after it's been seared on both sides for four to six minutes. Going to add in about a cup and a half of broth and bring it to a boil. And then you're gonna put uh, two pieces of aluminum foil over it just to, because this is such a big pan, I wanna make sure it gets covered. So after it's been boiled, it's gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes, but at 15 minutes in, you're gonna flip it. So 30 minutes total, but flip it at 15 minutes because you're trying to get all that cabbage nice and soft. And then put uh, cover it back up. Um, you can add a little salt and pepper now if you like. But you can always salt and pepper it later too. Cover it back up with the foil and put it back into the oven. So after that 15 minutes, you're gonna bring it out, have a peek at it, uh, look at it, and um, put, a, put the oven up to 450. You can put it in immediately though, the pan back in immediately. And then you're just gonna cook that for like five to seven minutes, just depending on how, how fast your oven cooks. Um, but do watch it, because you, you know, 450 might be really hot, or you might have to broil it on low for a minute or two to get it caramelized. And when you cook it at 450, you're gonna cook it uncovered. And then you're just gonna serve the cabbage on a platter, however you want, and with the sauce. At that point, you can add a little splash of citrus if you like, some fresh or dried herbs. And you can find this recipe at eatsimplefood.com.